Jeez. Greetings, gentle viewers. And howdy, howdy. So chapter two begins in earnest. That's it. That's all I got. Well, I'm glad chapter two is beginning in earnest because we clearly aren't. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Speaking of being in trouble, help with the bittersweet gamers. <laughs> oh no, please save us. I'm the opinionator. And I'm we square. Ah! <laughs> right, so we are in the middle of conversation. They found... Gonta found a rock that said horsey. <laughs> it's probably not that. Yeah, I don't think they make that noise. It's a Pokemon, so it goes horsey. I guess so. I guess so. Speaking of something less unfortunate, Shuichi is now no longer wearing a hat. He is flying his Ahoge loud and proud. <laughs> And, don't, don't phrase it like that, please. And now he has become the true main character. Oh, uh, by the by, I have some life stuff to take care of. So unfortunately, we will have to miss an episode or two. You're welcome to blame me if you want. That's what David does. Every single time. All right, buddy, let's get on with the episode. <sighs> What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know... Whatever. I brought Shuichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. And I quickly tried to start reading the dialogue again for the narration. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. As I expected... They were looking at me with surprise on their faces. This is my surprised face. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Oh, Shuichi. Honestly, um, I think he needs a hat. Well, you're biased. I am biased, yes. I am in the I like people that wear hats club. You don't have to wear a hat, but you can't take away a hat either. Doesn't he look wrong? Well, we'll get used to a it. A little bit, yeah. You finally got rid of that emo hat. Is this because Kayeti died or whatever? Screw you. Quiet, you male. Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. And you could stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk. <laughs> Again, I really like that Tenko is being really nice to it. Yeah, whatever her faults are, she is a decent person. Yeah, Tenko's a good person. It did not take us... It did not take her that long to just stop throwing out her degenerate male joke constantly. And that was all we wanted. Yeah. No, I just felt like it was getting in the way is all. Yeah, truthfully, that's the part that matters. The psychological effect it had on him. Yeah. The, the urge to hide. Yeah, he had decided what that hat meant, and that's why he was wearing that hat. So if he's to move on from that, he can't have it. It's a shame, because he'd look better with a hat, but... <laughs> uh, um... Okay, I have to check! Aw. You don't have to stare. I just took off my hat. It's not a big deal. That is correct. You are right. My apologies. I... I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Thank you. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Stock phrases. <laughs> Why do you sound so weird? <laughs> How nice for you. Unlike plain Jane over here, who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. Um... I am plain. No! But it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. That's why she has the glasses? To limit her power? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Uh, sounds excellent. Listen up. Anyway, don't be late anymore, Shuichi. We've already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? 
Really? Y you did? That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all, and as you've been paying attention, this is kind of what I've been trying to do the entire time. She has been trying to do stuff for other people, and everyone's like, no, 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 no. Like, I understand not wanting to take advantage of her, and that's honestly the, the that's where I would start, too. Uh -huh. Like, no, 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 I don't want to try to lord anything over you, and I don't think it's fair to do that. But when it became clear that she was, she really wanted or needed uh -huh. to do yeah. it, then, then it's the kind thing to do to actually take her up on it. And it's like, it's one thing to have her, like, clean your bed linens or something, but it's another thing if she wants to cook for you, you know? I have prepared an Italian omelet. Buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon galette. And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I have prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey! Kirumi, be my mom! Look, I'm not gonna kink shame, but I'm gonna kink shame. All he wants is someone to cook for him. <laughs> Gonta want you to be his mom too! <laughs> so Kokichi and Gonta are now brothers. Hmm. What are you two even saying? They just want someone to cook for them. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll show you guys something really neat. Huh. Look, look. When Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Yeah. Aw, she's like a small animal. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. I need an adult. At least Tenko likes all girls. We chat. I, I didn't want to read and I was waiting for Bill. <laughs> we chatted casually as we began eating the food Kirumi brought out. Amazing. Don't I not mean to flatter. Gonta not seem to understand what flatter me, but all this food's so yummy! Excellent. <sighs> it's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. Uh... I don't know what you would gain from that, but I mean, okay. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. They raise your blood sugar all the way to 1500. <laughs> the outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. Is there a problem? <laughs> Look at her face and tell me there's a problem. This is making me hungry. And cause the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet, sticky grain, even when it's cold. She's talking about food, Billy. Is she? Is she? Can you prove Jeez. that? Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? Uh -huh. I think that's a Toriko reference. That's what I was wondering if it was Toriko because <laughs> of the way she was talking a little over enthusiastic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I never read or watched it, so. May I? By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. I wouldn't know what would make a good rice ball. I mean, I've eaten one, but only like one. Really? Yeah. That's just not what I ate. I ate every one that was available to me. You ate every one that was available to you? I ate every rice ball that was available to me! <laughs> not every human being! <laughs> <laughs> The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. That makes sense. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. What are you people talking about? <laughs> yeah, I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. You can't? How? Rice doesn't eat your house. And rice also doesn't move on its own. Uh, well, no, that may not necessarily be true. Excuse me? Hey. How have you survived this long, Himiko? Magic. Ah, what is it? Create food and water? Is that <laughs> level two or level no, three? No, 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 that's a cleric spell. Well, what about you, Kibo? Oh? Huh? 
What's wrong, Keyboy? You're not eating. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot you can't eat, you know, because you're a robot and not Mazinger Z, which would be really cool. Well, Mazinger Z can't eat either. You know, that is a good <laughs> point, but you don't insult Mazinger Z. Whereas if you want Mazinger Z and don't get it. What? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense either. <laughs> Never mind. Hey. Hey, now, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Yeah, they're stacked right outside in the hallway. Yeah, they really are. Of course, I guess that would only give Kibo so many meals. Does he eat cathode ray tubes? Does he eat plastic? <laughs> Does he eat glass? David, stop. Just go. He's not a robot. He's not a robot. Well. I don't want that. He's not a waste receptacle. Kibo and Kokichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. We were having a normal conversation, as if nothing had happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. I'd like to point out that Ryoma hasn't said anything yet. Well, it's better to force it. Yeah. For a little bit, anyway. Um, there's an old saying, fake it till you make it, and there's some truth to that? Like, obviously you can do that the wrong and bad way. I think mostly fake it till you make it is good. Yes, I agree. That's, that's kind of where I was going. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves that's why this kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. Jesus. Like, it's really easy to get lost in the zaniness of the execution, but when you see, like, a still image like that... I do feel that the still image actually looked more frightening yeah. than it in motion. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. Huh? What's the matter, Shuichi? If you're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself. Ah. Ah! <laughs> ah, sorry! Hey, I was gonna eat that! Give that back! I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food into my mouth. By the way... That thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we gonna go check it out? What was it? Cedra? Cedramon? Something like that? <laughs> Stop, fucking virgin! Quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead! Huh? Huh? Graffiti? Um... Oh, going to find it this morning. Hey! On concrete, hidden in grass. Horsey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's there's nothing we can do to try and figure it out. It must, it must be an anagram. If Zero Escape has taught me anything, it must be an anagram. I guess it could be Hoisey, but I think it's Horsey. <laughs> Words. Horse A written there. Yeah, and you put it together and it's Horsey. Hmm. What do you think it means? Hmm. Well... Its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. Horse. We know what those are. <laughs> uh, it is an article. <laughs> a horse would make sense. But horse, uh? One may as well just say bone the meat on. <laughs> I see. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Anthropology is about people. This clearly says horse. A touche, I guess. <laughs> Yo! Well, how about it, Shuichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. What you got? Huh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Horse A, horsey, Cedramon. Who knows? But, but... Gonta! I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass, although it really was on a bright white block of marble, so was it really all that hidden? 
It was just overgrown. Yeah. Feeling divine? <laughs> Do you channel the divine too? No. Oh, that because of tiny bugs. Wait, what? Hmm? Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Vermin? I mean, I kind of agree with you, but you can't say that to Gonta. I mean, if you do, it's just needlessly provoking him. That's how they're classified in Dungeons and Dragons. We're not playing Dungeons and Dragons or Pokemon. <laughs> um. Yeah, Gonta think that before, but really. But when out walking in courtyard, Gonta think he see tiny bug. Oh, you just thought you saw one. But, bug so tiny, even Gonta no could see it. And Gonta have 20, 0 0.625 eyesight. All right, I've got to see exactly what that means. <laughs> is he microscope eyes? Wait, why is he wearing glasses? Apparently, that means he does have microscope eyes. Jesus. It means that what he is seeing at 20 feet is what the average person would see if they were 0.625 feet away from the thing. Ah, that's what that means. So what are the glasses for? To make him see worse? Does everybody just wear like these fake glasses to like decrease their power? Aurelia Le Guin was doing it before it was cool. So maybe Gonta just make mistake. But Gonta think... Maybe... No, maybe Gonta just see things. It's really hard to see a little bitty bug, and if you're, all you see is motion that small, it could be like a fleck of dust being blown yeah. in the wind? Wind. Wait. Is there wind here? Yeah, I don't think so. Why would there not be? I mean, is it like air conditioning? Maybe. I mean, we've never seen anything moving in the wind, but that's just that could just be because of the yeah, assets. And they've never talked about it either. Yeah. I suppose we should assume that there is wind until we're told there's not. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, it, it's just that kind of matters based on our kind of suspicions about what's going on. Yeah. Still don't think it's worthwhile to get into that right yet, though. Degenerate male! God, just make up your mind already, you degenerate! Which means... So you found that message while you were out chasing some bug. Oh. Wow, Gonta, you did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met my brother! <laughs> we have the same mom. Huh? What? Really? It's true! Yep, so you should work for me. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Gonta see no problem with this whatsoever. <laughs> that was really easy. What? What? You're going to agree to it just like that? Hey! Be careful, Gonta! That guy's a real liar! All right, Gonta! Destroy them all! Beat them up and tie them up at the end of the room, okay? Thanks! Gonta having second thoughts about this. Huh? What? Really? <laughs> no way! If you were working for me, I'd have to pay you! And I'll offer you, like, dental insurance and vacation, and I don't even know how to do a 401k, so... <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work as long as we're here, I guess. Thank goodness! Good! Then go to have no reason to worry! Huh? Will you believe just anyone? Kind of. <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible, well, you know, you'll be killed before you know it. Understand? Okay. Yeah. Um. I feel relatively vindicated in everything <laughs> I've I've said about Kokichi. He appears to actually be this um all right ah uh. <laughs> <laughs> like someone shoots an arrow into his leg ah oh. i hate that ah oh. so much it's like huh yeah the moment kokichi said that word the warm and casual mood shattered what's the matter what's wrong everyone 
Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <sighs> oh, Kokichi. You know should say thing like that, even as joke. Huh? Huh? Say what? Kill. Oh, has the K word been banned? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. What are we supposed to say? The k-game? Hmm? How can you be so insensitive? Especially after what happened yesterday. I'm ready! This is why I hate degenerate males! They're about as considerate as amoebas! Is it only that degenerate males are as considerate as amoebas, or just all males are degenerate, so they're as considerate as amoebas, or... I don't think it's a good idea to follow this train of thought any longer. Okay. Hey! Don't complain if some scary guy yells, What color is your blood? at you. You really don't get it. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Ah, oh, God, I, I just, I, I need to just let that go, but I hate that ah uh, so much. Uh, Kokichi is absolutely right. It's one thing to be nice, and, and they should be nice. Well, yeah, but, I feel like they're not doing anything wrong right now. Well, like, getting on to Kokichi for saying kill is the problem. Well, I but yeah, I mean, he probably shouldn't do it. But that's just trying to run away from everything, you know? Well, no, I know, but he's also doing this purposefully to mess with everyone. So whether, just because he's right... Oh no, I don't know about that. Yeah, I like, guess that could be the case, but I actually think he's right here. I mean, can't everyone at least have breakfast in a good mood, you know? And then like get more serious after breakfast or something, you know? Yeah, and he shouldn't have, and he shouldn't have really gone into yeah, it. Yeah, that's kind of what I meant. But it's like, you can't really scold him either. I don't know. Oh? Huh? Oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Did, did he get launched out of like an air conditioning vent, ricocheted off the far wall, then <laughs> bounced on the ground and rolled to his feet? Well, you have to give him credit. He's being creative on his entrances in this game. Yeah, he, I've never seen that before. That's pretty good. Hello! Looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. See, they weren't going to get a nice, peaceful breakfast anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. Woo! Let me join in. Let me join in. Oh, you'll regret that. What? Isn't that your fault? Huh? Hmm? Can you go? <gasps> hey! No bullying! Bullying is not cool! Bullying is the worst! Only I get to bully! And Mono Kid. Oh, I guess Mono Kid doesn't get to bully anymore, <laughs> does he? Ah. Uh, really fixating on that silver lining, ain't ya? I just am taking a breath of fresh air in this new world that is, in at least one way, a better place. There are costs. Was it worth those costs? I'm not saying it was. It probably wasn't. But you can't change the past, and so all I can do is enjoy the present. <laughs> <sighs> You're annoying. Personally, I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. No, I don't think that's right. It's all the parents' fault! They should do a better job raising their kids! More importantly... Why are you even here? I'm the headmaster. Yeah? Oh, I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A prize? Rise and shine or shine. Uh... Rise and shine or shine. <laughs> Rise and shine or shine. Um. Um. The reward, right? We brought it. Yep. So I'll just give it to you then. I don't want the head of Mono Kid. I don't want it. 
You want to know why I don't like him so much? He's fine. Because he never said anything that makes any sense. Everybody else, every other one of the Mono Cubs makes sense. But he's just lol random? Yeah, he was just some madman. Some angry, mean, brutal madman. Huh? Hey, my kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable! Well, everybody other than Monodum is sad that their sibling bought the farm. I think. Are you being bullied? Eek! Eek! Well, of course, Monokuma is bullying them. Huh? 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 <laughs> um... I knew it. I knew it. I understand from experience. Huh? From experience? Himiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? I'll kill them! Is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? You're the worst of the worst! Yeah! Use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches! Ah, threats of violence, bullying, nihilism, naive optimism, just a typical day. Nice, good breakfast. Stop it. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. Don't just make up my backstory. Actually, I'm kind of worried that Himiko mentioned that. She didn't mention anything like that in the FTE we did with her. W what I mean is, who is it that gets murdered? One of the people oh. that starts doing things in the chapter. In every chapter, mm. several people are going to take a bigger role. Now, this doesn't really happen maybe in like four or five because the cast has been significantly diminished by then, so, mm -hmm. it's, harder to, so it's harder to tell. Right, right. But there's going to be several people that take an active role and two or three of them, I mean, just due to events, and yeah. two or three of them are going to be red herrings, but that's going to be the pool... Yeah. that the murderer and the murdered are going to come from. And I mean, and so Himiko talking about a backstory of being bullied, that's just like Hiyoko. Uh, yeah, and it's like Hiyoko died in two, and Chihiro, which is like the equivalent in one, they all died, like the young, weak, fragile yeah. person. Yeah, I mean, that's why I assumed that she wasn't going to make it, and that I really want her to make it, because I like her a whole lot. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Hold on, the Moto Cubs bully each other? I thought it was just Moto Kid. Yeah, it was really just Moto Kid bullying everybody else. Well, mainly Moto Dem. What? No way! The Moto Cubs should always get along! My Widow Cubs! Hey, you kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? <laughs> Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all friends. We all get along, always. Especially now that the evil one is no more. Satisfaction. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes, we, we, we do! Right? See, my children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Yeah, they're not bullying each other now. You're abusing them. Call Child Protective Services. Is that how it works? <laughs> Why, you? The bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh, no, 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 no murderous rage, Himiko. Oh, well. Well, I think the threatening vibe we moto we mo- I'm fucking- <laughs> Well, I think the threatening vibe we moto cubs give off is perfect. And that's that. Cause we're a team of scary badasses who are gonna drag you down to hell! Oh, no. Uh, it's just not the same. Oh uh, well. <laughs> You're such adorable little badasses. <laughs> Got it? Well, anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you've all been waiting for. Oh my god. Listen up. 
because we got these here fabulous nonsensical prizes for you. Okay, so there's an ocarina, which we play in front of the stone tab tablet with the music note. There's the crank. There's with... the crank I've been going on about. And then there's the pass to open up that hidden wall or whatever. Yeah, we haven't done it in the video, but it's it's like one of those 16th century passports that would happen in like Sengoku period Japan. Tsuko... Tsuko... Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. And then that ball probably goes to the dragon statue. Yeah, yep. So that way we get to open a whole bunch of, of other areas. Yep, 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 yep. I guess we only have to play a couple of notes on the ocarina. Surely someone can do it. And yeah, surely someone. A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. I even mentioned Resident Evil. These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. Bravo, bravo. Yay! I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? So what would have happened if there would have been Mono Kid here? Would we have gotten a fifth prize or would he have just taken Monodom's spot? He probably would have just taken Monodom's spot. Okay. What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? Ah, oh, we get to open doors and stuff. It's fine. To tell you the truth, Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward, after all. Mm. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Yeah. Anyway, that's the situation. So just do your best however you please. We let's go. Great happiness. I get to speak. What? You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point. The belly button. Shoot the belly button. <laughs> secret weak point? You mean the nape of our necks? Got it, thanks. Now we know. <sighs> <laughs> Not that! Anything but that, Kuma! Actually... Wait, so the nape of your necks is your weak point? But you're not Titans. I... <laughs> I would never do that. I just want to get along. That's I as in this person, not the other person. Mm, mm. I think he just really hated Mono Kid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? What? Uh, get along? Really? Are you stupid? Don't let him fool you. He killed Mono Kid, remember? Justifiably so? Right now. So long. Farewell. <laughs> All right. Well, now I'm hoping that that Monodom and Kokichi team up and are actually the antagonists of the game. Ah, so Monodom is the robot trader on the bad guy side. Hey, yeah! yeah. Huh, seeing that robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Haha, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Huh? Am I really excluded? Yeah. Hey. So, what should we do with this junk? Could it be? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus. I mean, we took one look at it and knew exactly what to do with them. However... And what'll happen when we do? Uh... Um... I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. No, you don't get any of it. <laughs> ah. No, let's leave this to Shuichi. Huh? What? Me? He's still kind of in the background. Yeah? Hey! Right. You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this, and I can't be bothered. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I'll try. But, I mean, yeah. it's not gonna be a problem since we know exactly what to do We're with it. We're just gonna go right up to every single thing. Man, 
I want ads. I guess that's fine. I was going to hide one or two of them or break it so you couldn't get into those locations, but it would have been fun, too. There would have been a place for a murder that nobody even could have accessed. What a great idea. But if no one could have accessed it, how could a murder have taken place there? Uh, you, you move the body. Nobody could ever find it. Okay, I see what he's saying. No, oh. that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your impression's so good. So I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. Got it. All right, let's get going. He's out! And that's where the passport goes. Well, Himiko, what do you think? My magic is reacting. Huh? Your magic? Hmm. There's something around here. There's no mistake. I'm staring right at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That one is heart. That one is body. So this one, well... Mine? Well, that also could be mine, I guess, depending on... That's the thing, man. That's the thing about Japanese. You just don't really know. Oh, one man's truth. You've unlocked a dungeon. A uh, skill. So the other one would be mind and heart. Ah, okay, okay. All right, so now here we are in a dungeon. <laughs> I, I wonder if it's going to be like wizardry. That's exactly what I was thinking, because look at the exact specific format of it. Yeah, maybe Eye of the Beholder. The wall came down! <laughs> ah. What is it, cause of my magic? Okay, Himiko, come on, you're in the party. We need a magic user. Yay! That means you get to handle main DPS, got it? You ready? What's dips? No. Uh, no, I, I used an item on this object and the wall exploded. Like normal. It's magic. It was my magic. What about the item? Magic! Did you use your magic on the wall and- Magic! I use knock. It's a level two spell. Knock is for opening doors. That's a wall. I'm really good. I don't think you can change the classification of the target of a spell for no <laughs> apparent reason. Uh, um... Okay, just... You know what? It's your magic, okay? Yay! <sighs> With my magic... Because of my magic, we were able to move on. Why do you say it like that? Because of your magic and not the magic of the item? You're right. Oh my god. Don't patronize me, yeah. You. Isn't there something you should say? <sighs> Thank you, Miss Himiko. Is that what you wanted? Uh, um... Uh, ah! Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. Mm. You should rely on my magic from now on. Will you use it? Or will you come up with another excuse the next time? That's for me to know, and you to find out. <laughs> <sighs> well, let's see what's over here. No! Not Strawberry House! That's a TV goes ultimate lap. Uh, yes, I can see that. I'm just wondering why strawberries. Reference? Ta-da! That's true. Yeah, as I suspected, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. <laughs> Whose research lab is this? If it's supposed to be mine, then there should be magical items. Himiko, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but you have to understand something really important. I don't want to hurt your feelings. There are no magical items. They don't exist. <laughs> Hey. Right? They don't exist. Uh, um... Right? Why are you asking me? <laughs> well, there's a cauldron! Uh... To think there was a room like this beyond that ball. I know, we could easily have been making better soup. 
<laughs> with this cauldron. But I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it, though. Miu and Kaede's research labs were open from the start. You're right. That's right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's probably better to not bring up Kaede just yet, huh? Uh, don't, don't worry about it. No. Ah, uh, no, it's fine. I'm okay. If you're all walking on eggshells, I don't think it's really gonna help. It, it's one thing if you were bringing it up in kind of like a hostile manner, I suppose. Oh uh, yeah, in that case you need to get your butt kicked. Yeah. But just the fact that it could come up is enough kind of pressure to, to help the person try to get over it. Yeah. To the extent that they can. Yeah, like, yeah. But, and like you just said, the fact that everybody who says something, except for Kokichi, of course. Yes, that's why I mentioned hostility. The fact that they're all kind of apologetic shows that everyone's heart is in the right place. I see. I see. Well, that's a relief. I was just plain worried. Um. I don't know how just yet, but like Kaede said, let's survive and escape this place no matter what. <laughs> I love how she has this type of very quiet resolve, the opposite of in-your-face resolve. Yeah, yeah. She resolved herself to die at the end of the time limit. Yeah. And actually openly talked about it. I'm really curious how people are going to be pressured into murder because everyone seems to, other than like Team Evil, obviously, but even they seem very like together, even now, like, like with it, you know? Mark my words. <laughs> this is a prediction and I could be wrong. What you say is correct. That's why the people that are gonna be committing the murders are going to be Miu, Korehio, um, there's, we're gonna have one more surprise, uh -huh, but then uh -huh. we need one more after that. Uh, I don't know about Kokichi. I'm wondering how many of them are going to be well-intentioned, like Kaede's. Like they were trying to do something good, but failed horribly? That would be interesting. I don't know, but Miu and Kodakio, man, I guarantee you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna laugh so hard if the next one turns out to be Miu and she did it with a drone. <laughs> like my drone theory was correct. It just, no, wrong case. <laughs> I mean, I am gonna be so shocked if Miu and Kodakio Make it to the end. Yeah, uh, or are killed instead of yeah, yeah instead yeah. of kill. I would not be able to process it. I like how can I be that wrong? <laughs> I mean, I see a bunch of potential murder weapons right back there. You know, all them swords. Oh, we're getting to them. <sighs> yeah, I mixed up magic tricks and real magic, but this is a pretty thorough collection. I'll give him that. Regardless of the way she talks, just like Gundam, I mean, it comes from a different place, but it's it's very similar. Like, actually, she is good at this stuff. This is what she does. Yeah. Hey. It seems like there are labs for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? I mean, I've always found the idea of a lab for an ultimate kind of weird to begin with. Right, it's like we said the first time we heard about them that it would seem like it's an excellent place to make sure that someone who you've just programmed to be an yeah. ultimate is able to have, a, have the chance to practice their skill to make sure that your memory transplants work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, we're not gonna go into it yet, but as a sneak peek, the, you know what the labs tell us? The, the labs, labs tell us, us that there's an ultimate detective, an ultimate astronaut, an ultimate tennis pro, I don't know about him, an ultimate entomologist, an ultimate supreme leader, an ultimate anthropologist, etc. Okay, because there's physical infrastructure for that. Yeah, yeah. Then whatever set of random people are drug in here, get those memories and become those sets of students. Mm, I see. That's that's kind of like the, why are you saying it like that? We've mm, talked I about see. we talked about this. I'm just agreeing with you. Well, anyway, like I said, <laughs> we'll we'll go into a, more of our theory later, but I don't know. I'm pretty suspicious of this. Um. 
Monokuma said that this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles was made for the 16 of us. Hmm. Is that really true? Maybe it's made for 16 ultimates, but not necessarily these 16 people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, the rooms in the dorms have locks, but this research lab doesn't. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. We'll just bring them all back to your room then. Hmm. That's, that's a long way to haul them for her tiny self. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. It's magic. But, but, but I use real magic, not magic tricks. She's not gonna budge an inch on that point. As short as I am, I need every inch I can get. <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> I, the Somnium file. Oh god, I hadn't even thought about that. What a huge saw. Hey! This room can't be locked, so we don't just have to worry about the tricks being stolen. We have to worry about someone killing someone in here with a buzzsaw dressed in a polar bear suit. <laughs> Tsumugi didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are going to happen again, but... Uh, okay. Right. I can really feel it now. Just how bizarre this situation is. I'm sorry. I do not know of any magic trick that involves a frickin' guillotine. This is a guillotine? Right? By the way, I don't think we'll get to look at the potions on the wall. They kind of look like poison. And some votive candles or something? <laughs> I know it's just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Do you know? Maybe you better check and see if uh, it's sharp. Yeah, I think that would be prudent. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be used for magic, too. I've seen it in a magic show. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> How would you even kill somebody like this? Very painfully. Um, we haven't had a magic show murder in Danganronpa, have we? Oh, well, correct. We haven't had a magician in Danganronpa, so that makes sense. Well, we've had, have we had one or two in Ace Attorney? Are you kidding? Tracy's entire thing was about magicians, and we've had several cases with her past. I mean, the beginning of Spirit of Justice, for instance, was with uh, Robert Downey Jr., the magician. I don't know. I, I'm just really worried that what's going to happen is Himiko is going to die in here. And that's going to happen soon. Yeah. Uh, um... What is this? That's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords, but comes out fine. No. It's not a trick. That's one of the space-type spells. Huh? Space-type? Is that like gold quartz, so it's actually holy element? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like high-ranking magic. That's right. Don't worry, Shuichi. I got your reference. Uh, thank you, Tsubugi. E exactly. You need a lot of skill for space-type spells. No, you just need a quartz. No average mage can handle them. Uh... Mm hmm mm hmm So in other words, um... you could just be a mage. You'd have to be a sage. You need the words of wisdom for that. I feel like we're talking past each other. I think that that's talking about getting the uh, scroll at the top of the tower in Dragon Quest III. <laughs> Tsumugi was somehow able to follow all of that. Our worlds are very adjacent. <laughs> are these birds alive? They seem to be moving. Count them! There's four of them! Are, there, are they robot birds? Uh, Who's feeding um... them? Someone is going out of their way to feed these birds and clean up all the poop. Shh, it's okay, David. It's okay. We don't got to worry about little details like that. There's four of them. That's the detail we have to worry about. 
Don't lose track of how many there are. Don't worry, I'm very experienced at counting birds in a dot com rope game. <laughs> this is a big cage. Hey! Hey, Himiko, what kind of magic trick do you use the cage for? You don't use the cage for anything. You just need the doves, the pigeons, the parrots, the cockatiels, <laughs> the cocker spaniels. Wait, hold on. The mastiffs. You. It's not a trick. I'm telling you, it's real magic. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I forgot about that. I don't know about humoring her too much. A little bit is fine. Mm. I use that for a number of spells. It's also good for carrying my familiar. What? Familiar? I see. Uh oh, you mean that trick where a dove comes out of your hat? Um. Er, you mean a magical animal? Hmm. Yes, that's right. But my familiar isn't a dove, it's a tiger cub. A tiger cub? Well, where is it? <laughs> Show us. What? A tiger cub? What is this? It must be so cute. I'm jealous of you being able to pet something fluffy like that whenever. That's the first thing you think about? <laughs> I'll admit, even I'm kind of jealous. We need to get Ryoma in here. He'd be all over that. I want to pet a kitty. Where's the kitty? <laughs> I like kitties. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the trial, it seems he was killed by a tiger cub. Then we have the cape, an additional hat, a top hat, and a baton for yep. Tracy. Uh, um... What is this? Do you cook food in it? It's a huge cauldron, like one a witch would be stirring in a children's book. You. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pot is collecting mana. So you're saying that if I drink it, I'll recover my MP? Or will I recover my SP? Will I recover my TP? Will I recover my CP? <laughs> It depends on the system we're using. And no, I'm not gonna talk about my PP. Huh? <laughs> Mana? Don't you know? It's a necessary energy source for magic. I gotcha! I gotcha! I gotcha! I see. Oh, I see. You mean like ether or life force? Hmm. The names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. Hmm. Is that so? I'm gonna get the heck out of this <laughs> death trap room, but there's a water tank. It's a huge water tank. I wonder if this is for killing Houdini. Oh, oh, nothing. Oh, okay. I guess it's for killing Houdini. Very much so, please. All right, boys' bathroom. Kaito wouldn't let me go in here, but I'm gonna try now. Guess I'll not. I'll kill you all. Okay, great. I know there's gonna be a Kuma in there. I know it. 100%. And like the entire cast of the game is here. Good Lord. Okay, let's get to it. Jeez. So you finally decided to raise your head, even though you have to lower it to look at little old me. <laughs> Brutal. Huh? What? what? Your up till yesterday, you were always walking around staring at your feet, right? It's easy for a short person to tell that. <laughs> yeah, Bioma would notice. Even when you had to look up, you used your hat to block out what you didn't want to see. He also knows a thing or two about hats. I can't deny that. However... This world can be too big and bright for eyes that have spent too long staring down. So be careful. Don't let your eyes deceive you. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. 
Sorry for the unsolicited advice. How did he become so wise? Prison. You know, I bet he just was always, this was always his personality. Yeah, yeah. And I bet whatever he, assuming that the whole murder the mafia with an iron ball thing is true, that's the kind of thing that can kind of teach you some stuff once you are past it, you know? I don't know. I, I think this is just his regular personality and it always was. He's a good guy. Yeah. I mean, for one, it's hard to really distrust someone that likes cats. <laughs> I mean, yes, bad people can like cats too, but I'm just saying that that's not the first thing you jump to unless they're a James Bond guy. Yeah, I was about to say. Listen. Speaking of James Bond villains. What I wonder does Monokuma wish for us to do? Huh? What do you mean? I cannot fathom the reason he would give us those items and make us search the school. Hmm. Now that I think of it, the school regulations did mention searching the school. Something that, like, we could search at our leisure? Yes, yes. Which actually made me wonder if they would not mind if we found unusual things. It said minimal exceptions, so yeah. we might see if we can find a way like to destroy stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just have a hard time believing that the place is completely impenetrable. At least this layer of whatever this facility is. Yeah. Wherever it is. On the moon, of course. <laughs> I mean, it's possible we'll walk out there and see it's like some weird perspective painting and it's not actually some giant wall. Well, I remember staring at the clouds trying to figure out if they were moving. Yeah. And they weren't. But just like with wind. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean. Unless you, they make a point of it, we can't assume. Even I would not say that the clouds aren't moving. The sky is fake. I would need to see some reason the sky was. You, we'd have to be told that. Yeah, 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 yeah. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. <laughs> This rule is indirectly urging us to search the school. Yes, I suppose that is true. Let's see. What will come of our search, and how will everyone react to it? I shall closely observe each of them as well. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. All right, buddy. Yeah, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Talk to somebody else, not you. Hey, Shuichi, is there anything Gota can do? Please say so. Gota just been standing here like Lump. Well, you stand here like Lump. Next to your brother or your boss. <laughs> Aw, man. Okay, key to me. Probably just you. Maybe one more person. What do you think? Have you recovered from your injury? Huh? Injury? Yes. When Kaito struck you last night. Oh, that's just going to be like slightly sore for a while. No, no big deal. No, she's still concerned. Kaito took more damage from punching Shuichi in the face than Shuichi did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. It didn't bruise or anything, see? He wasn't trying to hurt him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then. Good. Should it begin to hurt again, please let me know. Though I cannot perform surgeries, I can make use of the medical supplies in the warehouse. Uh, um... You have medical experience too, Kirubi? When you're as skilled as combat as I am, you pick up a few things. Is that the case? <laughs> That's what they implied, but is it real? I am a maid, after all. A true maid must be able to adapt to any situation. Besides, I too intend to fulfill Kaede's request, so I will valiantly perform any task, trivial or otherwise. She does have an excellent attitude, and I do really like her. Yeah. I'm just worried that she's... That, like, there's something about her that's making her ignore herself. Well, as long as her attitude is good, she's not exactly debasing herself yeah, or yeah. treating herself badly, so... <laughs> Kirimi. 
It sounds like everyone has taken Kaede's final wish to heart. Even if Kaede is no longer with us, Kaede's wish will never vanish. And that's the important takeaway here. No, fine. It'll just be too confusing if I don't talk to him. Maybe it's gonna be his lab. I mean, these are the two people standing by. What would that even mean? It'd be great. I can't wait to find out. Ah. Oh, I knew you'd come to check this area. That dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. Hey, how many stars are in that ball anyway? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, okay. I bet he plans to wish for underwear. Oh my God. Hey, go on, try to solve the puzzle. You're clearly a pro at playing with yourself. Okay. No comment. No, no comment. No comment. Angie? Angie? <laughs> Amen! Oh, Atua, who art in heaven, please allow Rantaro into thy kingdom. Hmm. Oh, sorry, you were praying. Because? Because everyone's so sad over Kaede, they've forgotten about Rantaro. I, I was about to point that out. I, I, I'm gonna wait until this conversation is over, but that may have actually improved my opinion of Angie to the point where I no longer find her annoying. So I'm gonna keep praying for him. Huh? N no, it it's not that we forgot. Uh, yep. It's okay. It's easier for me to earn points if I pray. Okay, stop that! That's No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> It's a shortcut to a platinum membership. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. The cinnamon is what matters. Her religion has a point system? Oh my god. No, what? that that was really nice. One step forward, two steps back. But yeah. I just feel like too many people forget the victims in, in an urge to, to process to justify everything that happened. Especially if it's a character someone likes. Yeah. Like, you can still like them. That doesn't mean it justifies what they did. Just everybody forgetting about poor Don Tato. No, that that means a lot. I'll, I'll be less mean to Angie now. Well, Maki, looks like you're the last person. Hmm. You look better now. I didn't think you'd get over Kaede's death so quickly. No. We don't have time to be standing around. You. How heartless. I guess you two weren't as close as you looked. What the hell, man? What the heck? The, she starts out with a compliment. Right? And then he says, like, I can't give up here. And then she throws it in his face. What? But, I mean, she has a terrible attitude where occasionally she says the right thing and does something really nice. Ugh. That's not true. It's because of the wish Kaede gave me that I have to keep moving. I made a promise that I won't give up. Hmm. But I didn't make a promise that the episode would continue. Yeah? I don't like that. Yeah. Thank you.